Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We've only had these World Cup Hero cards in FIBA 23 for just over a week, with Team 1 leaving packs and Team 2 entering packs yesterday. But there has been an SBC pack added to the code that tells us a guaranteed World Cup Hero pack is coming, most likely via SBC. I want to take a look at when that SBC could be dropping, how much it should cost, and what it could be doing to the market even as early as today we could see prices impacted on these world cup heroes as people learn about this sbc it's already affecting the market sbc fodder people are going investing in it already so i want to take a look at all of that and today is a very interesting day for the market in general because we are less than a week away for from black friday and the black friday promo and as you may notice on the loading screen the path to glory team two cards and the second set of the world cup heroes actually leaves packs early so we're gonna have some preliminary talk again about could we see some prices dropping today or maybe it's just a good time to go untradeable with your squads just to be careful about the market in the next coming days if people really feel like they need to sell. And of course, we have a lot to talk about with a little bit of a lackluster day of content yesterday via SBC's objectives, not getting all the swap tokens that we wanted to. And of course, what could happen today on Saturday in FIBA 23. So if you're excited for the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about this hero pack because I think this was a surprise to see this yesterday. I don't know if we expected it to be coming this fast. That's the surprise in all of this. When this pack code was tweeted yesterday, about like 19 minutes exactly after the content was dropped, an 89 overall max World Cup hero pack has been added to the code. And that's what people are getting excited about. And this is an SBC that will be very, very in demand. I mean, you're talking about brand new hero cards that just got dropped on in the game in the past week. And we now have an upgrade SBC that will be giving out those cards, that's pretty insane. Now, again, it is max 89 overall. So if we take a look at the list of the World Cup heroes, you have all of the World Cup heroes who will be available to be packed from this SBC except five. Forlan, Voller, Papan, Lucio, and Jurgen Kolaer are the five heroes that are 90 rated or above that are in this game. So they will not be packable from this pack of course we would also assume that the sbc robbie Keane would not be packable from this pack either because that was an sbc and if they maybe even add another hero card via sbc or objective that should not be in this pack either just the cards that have been released in packs that are in packs right now and that were in packs last week that are 89 overall and below will be packable in this sbc that's crazy, right? Think about all the great cards that you have in here. You've got the Extinct Small Wreck. This guy isn't even on the market right now when I'm recording this video. You've got, of course, the brand new JJ Akocha. You've got the Yaya Toure card and everybody's favorite right now in FIFA, the Al Owarian World Cup Hero. So this SBC will have tons of demand because these cards are brand new. They're hyped and everybody would like a chance to pack them. And what we've seen from SBCs really earlier this year from the world uh, or from the hero upgrades, from the icon upgrade packs, two things, right? The time frame for these SBCs dropping, we've seen them on Mondays, and that's kind of what I would expect for this Max 89 hero upgrade as well. Monday seems to be the most popular day that this could be happening, but I do think it's gonna impact the market today, and you will see some hero prices dropping. We'll get to that in a second. So two, the price of this SBC, what would it be around, right? Right now, we do have this base icon upgrade, which is about, I believe, I don't even remember what this SPC is priced at. 215,000 coins for a no rating cap base icon upgrade. The base hero upgrade that we had earlier a couple weeks ago was 120,000 coins. Now, a lot of these players are pretty expensive. If we sort by price, we've got a lot of hero cards right now that are above like 300k, right? You've got so many of these cards that are above 300k. Now, some of them are still brand new to the market. Guys like Claudio Marquisio, JJ Acocha, they're probably a bit overvalued. Even Marquisio, or especially Marquisio and Acocha, because their upgrades are so small over their base hero cards. I think their prices are going to continue to drop as they get packed and as we get closer to this SBC later on in the weekend. But this SBC can't be super cheap. I mean, the cheaper that it is, uh, you have some incredible cards in here that are at a very high value that people would love to try and go gamble for i honestly think that this sbc should be somewhere around 250,000 coins 200 to 250k because that's kind of the sweet spot where it's still cheap enough to make you want to try to gamble it and try to go after it and get it done 
to get one of these big players. But if you get somebody that's on the lower tier like Colaire, Mascherano, Cahill, Junberg, like there's plenty of cheaper guys in here too. Like, yes, you could pack a Peter Crouch. Yes, you could pack a Jorge Campos. So I don't think it can be any more than 250K to be worth it for most people. I'm guessing somewhere around the 200,000 coin threshold, and it's not going to give out the best of, of cards, right? You're probably going to end up getting Algebra, Dempsey, Campos, Cahill, Junberg, which are still very usable cards. But of course, everybody looks to the higher tier in opening a pack like this. So this is the biggest thing right now that is affecting this game. People are already investing. If you take a look at fodder prices on the game, 88s and above have started to rise. And if you take a look at their graphs, even like let's take a look at um, a cheeky Keller Navas, 26,000 coins, almost 27K. The news of this SBC being added to the code literally made these cards shoot up right away. He was 25,000 coins getting packed a bit. All the 88s were down just a slight bit um, at the content drop yesterday with everything going on. And these cards started to get bought up. They have been invested in a lot. And I honestly think they're going to continue to rise back up a little bit today. Again, at anything that is like 87s are even up, right? These guys were 16K at the content drop. These 86s were 12,000 coins. 85s and 84s are still pretty low. But I think people are investing in the higher tier because A, that's what's in demand right now with Ribery, the base icons being still out and uh, Robbie Keane's SBC being very popular right now in the game, but also people know that this one is probably not going to be that cheap. And similar to the requirements of the base icon upgrade that we have right now in the game, you have this 88 overall and higher player that's required inside this 87 rated squad. And that requirement alone has made 88 pluses go up a lot in the past few days. And just the fact that it's really easy to get SBCs done with a couple high rated players, then you throw in some middle to lower tier ones and you get that squad rating that you need. That's why the high rated fodder is being invested in a lot right now. So if I were you looking at this fodder with the prices that it is already, I would not be super duper comfortable saying, hey, go all in and invest. I would just say, be careful. If you think you're gonna do this SBC, even as early as now, what I would say to do is go out and do a little bit of a club stock. Maybe you try to pick up some 88s on bid. Maybe you try to pick up, I still think 84s and 85s are looking ripe for more of an investment opportunity there, right? 84s in the low 2K range are pretty low. 85s and low 7s are pretty good investments as well. But for the higher tier stuff, I just, I wouldn't invest all my coins into it. Just stock some in the club. That way you can say you're ready if this SBC drops. It's not one of those situations where it looks like, remember last week when 88s were like 20K and it was like, oh yeah, we're going all in because these are very, very low. 88s are up a lot, right? They could go even higher, right? We might have these guys going to above 30K this week if the SBC content is super duper good. Uh, but I would just be a little bit careful with investing in fodder right now, unless you want to go all in and you think this SBC uh, is going to have so much demand that it's going to make those cards go crazy. So have at it if you want to do that. But I would just be a little bit careful there because the prices are so high already. It's kind of like, okay, what is the ceiling for some of these prices there? So that's the biggest news right now. And I, I think as early as today, we talk about the market side of things. I think you're going to start to see some hero cards get sold off a little bit. And I think that is hurting some of the rise on these cards. Like we talked about, on stream yesterday, some of these hero cards exploded. We saw it, right? Some of these hero cards exploded. Alawardian was like 670K around the content drop or just before, and he went all the way to 720,000 coins. Now he's back down a little bit to 687. And I just have to wonder a little bit, is there going to be some more panic selling on these cards today? Because some people will have seen the pack code and they've seen the talk about this SBC and they will imagine that the SBC is going to be today. I mean, technically, there is a chance, right? It's in the code. It can come any day now. Um, but Monday seems to be the most likely day because that's been the day we've been getting these big gamble SBCs. So watch out for some panic selling on the World Cup Heroes today. If you like to quick flip these cards and trade with the rarity of them, you're going to have a good time today trading with these. I'm going to be looking to do some of that uh, on the market today, especially with some of the new ones that people are still really, that are really fresh and that people are still really wanting to go and try out. So watch the World Cup Hero cards today in packs and out of packs. Uh, and then alongside of that, as we transition to thinking about the market as a whole and the market in general, are we going to see 
some prices, whether it's on Path to Glory cards or whether it's on your gold cards, are we going to see the market drop a little bit as people are starting to get, I guess, uh, thoughtful and starting to think ahead and just think about it on a normal, any year of FIFA right now in this game, the week before Black Friday, this is a big weekend where a lot of people sell cards off from their clubs because they know what's about to happen during the Black Friday weekend. And that's what I want to talk about today because I think it might be one of those Saturdays where we see some sell-off on some cards, but it all depends on what people are thinking about, right? The panic selling for this sort of the stage of the game and for what we're looking at for this next week, if people see this hero pack been at, that's been added to the code and they're worried about it, or if they've seen, oh my goodness, Black Friday is next week, there's going to be tons of pack supply next week. The first lightning rounds of the year, most likely, the cards that are in packs are going to get absolutely destroyed. If people start to worry and if people are told to sell because of dropping prices during the next week, then I do think that you will see the market drop off a bit today. I'm not saying that it's going to be a crazy the insane drop off uh, because I still feel like the market's semi healthy at the moment. But again, we'll see. It really just depends on what people are feeling and, and how, I guess, afraid people really want to get. So, in general, heading into Black Friday, it is always a good idea to be pretty liquid, especially again, I say it with the gold cards, guys, because these are the cards that are getting packed so much, um, and so many people are just upgrading away from these cards and their teams, even especially a guy like this Militao who has gone up a lot because of the new meta switch, right? With the explosive and the controlled players pl seemingly playing a little bit better um, than the lengthy players, or at least uh, better than they were before the patch. Be careful with gold cards because I do think that there is a lot more of a drop off on these cards. I'd also be a little bit careful with some of your, even, even some of the new path to glories from like team one, I mean, some of these guys have gone up in price a decent amount, but if people are talking about panic selling and a market drop and a market crash, these guys shouldn't drop that much. But if they do, uh, it could be a place to actually try to trade with some of these guys and, and trade with them because they're going to be super rare and they're alive and they're upgrading. So watch that side of the market. Watch the World Cup heroes. And again, just watch your general market um, because, again, if people decide that they want to sell cards, then you're gonna see prices drop off because when people get in that panic sell feeling, when they get in that idea that, oh my goodness, there's gonna be an insane amount of content or an insane this or that that is gonna make the market drop, people go all out and they, they sell cards and they drop and it goes crazy. So just be a little bit wary of that. Again, I'm not expecting a massive market crash today, um, but we'll just have to see. I do think there could be a few drops and it's in general, just a good time to be untradeable. Also be very careful with team of the week cards, right? I know we mentioned it last week, talking about some of our uh, Black Friday thoughts ahead of the promo. This Mbappe was like 2.2 mil early in the week. He's now 1.9. So he's dropping off a bit, but best of team of the week is something we always see during the Black Friday promo. I think EA would do that this year as well. It would be a great opportunity for them to do best of team of the week because they're stopping the new team of the weeks when the World Cup is out. So be very careful with your team of the week cards, especially the top tier ones. Um, and those could be dropping in the next couple days as well uh, with that panic selling ahead of that best of team of the week stuff maybe happening later on in the week. So that's what I'd watch out for with the market today. Let's talk a little bit more about content today on Saturday and switch gears there. Uh, first of all, we had uh, a couple leaks yesterday that could pertain to our content today. A dynamic duo between Ampadu and Wilson uh, are added to come via dynamic duo. Not sure if it's going to be an SBC, not sure if it's going to be an objective. Of course, the last duo that we had was via SBC. So this is out there, might have it soon. Uh, but if you're a Welsh fan, boom, that one is there for you. Not a bad set of cards, um, of course, right there. That Harry Wilson card looks pretty solid if those are the exact stats. Not too not too shabby. And then the other SBC that we have that could be today is the Pacey and Naki Williams card. Now, we saw this leak. We talked about it yesterday. We didn't get the SBC yesterday. We had the showdowns instead. This could be our SBC player that we get today. I would watch out for that. Or if there's any other leaks today heading into Saturday content, I, I do expect to see a player SBC today. That's been a pretty normal and a pretty consistent part of Saturday content are uh, the player SBCs uh, on, on Saturday. So watch out for that. I guess the other thing we'd be crossing our fingers for today is more swap tokens. And I want to talk about this for a second because we only had four swap tokens dropped yesterday and we were expecting more because... This almost seems intentional from EA. Only dropping four swap tokens yesterday 
takes us up to 18 total tokens in the game right now, which of course is less than 20, the magic number of 20 that we need to get the 84 times 20 times three. And it just seems like EA does not want us to get this pack during this promo when all these special cards are in packs and they're wanting us to save this one or whatever. I don't know what it is. It's a bit unfortunate that we only got four swap tokens yesterday. The only other thought that we maybe have is that, hey, EA is just going to space the tokens out and then maybe they're dropping more today. Fingers crossed, right? But my uh, hopes are not that high for that situation happening because I feel like, you know, we didn't get any more tokens throughout the week. Last week, it was just boom, a bunch on Friday and then nothing. But hopefully that changes this week. So those are the only tokens that we had yesterday. If you were looking for more, this is this is all that there were. There's 18 tokens in the game right now in total, including the ones that are in season progress. Um, so it's it, yeah, it's kind of tough because we were hoping to have some more to grind for. But the grind is looking a little bit slow as of right now now also today and this is where i want to talk about the ptg path to glory cards we're probably going to see some more movement on the path to glory cards of course and this is kind of rolling it back and talking about content that happened yesterday as well path to glory team 2 is looking okay right yesterday on the game when we saw the leaks loading into content we were like all right this team looks solid there's some cool cards in here for sure but it's not it's just not as super crazy hype, right? I feel like there's more hype for the World Cup heroes than there are for these Path to Glory cards, at least the set that we have right here. And Kunku is extinct on the market at 2 million coins. And these guys are kind of expensive. If you compare it to team number one, this team is more expensive, but I think it's because we've had less pack supply, right? Again, we talked about it in yesterday's video leading up into today. These guys were just all, they were set up to be more expensive because there was so fewer saved up packs yesterday than what we saw last week and I'm, I'm taking a look at this kyle walker card right now i bought three of these earlier at around 640 to 650 he's up to over 700 000 coins these guys are mad rare they are super duper rare and they are very fun to trade with because they fluctuate a lot it's just all about the timing alejandro gomez right papu gomez he has three Three pages, four pages of cards right now on the market, right? Very, very rare uh, on the high tier. Goretzka is another one. Crazy expensive card. Uh, yes, he's German. Yes, live item. Yes, Goretzka's card looks absolutely insane. Only two pages of this guy on the market right now. And as he sits, I mean, I'm, I'm even interested in looking at this guy for a potential flip. He looks super duper rare and he's getting down here below 1.1 1, uh, million coins. He, he was his actual cheapest in the first hour yesterday at like 920K. And then he of course rose up a lot. So your expensive cards are really rare, but some of your lower tier cards are, are, are also rising up a price. Uh, Christian Romero, Kuti Romero. Uh, why can't I find this guy? Let me search Romero, spelled his name wrong. I got him and Pulisic mixed up with the spellings uh Kuti Romero was really low earlier a couple hours ago he was down to 135,000 coins he is up to 161k again what you have to think about with these live ptg cards is people invest in them just based off the nation that's what happened with this Bruno Guimaraes card yesterday people invest in this guy just because he is Brazilian yes his card looks good right yes he is a very popular player right now in the Premier League for Newcastle and it's a fun card that people want to try out and it's a sizable upgrade but this guy was priced was all over the place yesterday from the first hour being 300k up to 400 then back down to 275 then back to 320 then back down to 275 again and now he's up to 300,000 coins these guys are fluctuating a lot but it's because people want to invest in the nation that these players representing for the potential upgrades as these guys get closer to the games actually happen which is tomorrow first game of the world cup is tomorrow that's so hype so exciting and these live cards finally get to get in on the action so yeah that's why we had some of the other nations that were not represented yet with uh road to the or sorry path to glory cards of course we had qatar we had iran we had tunisia that were of course in the team yesterday but this team just looks okay right there's a lot of good cards in here and i think their prices are going to fluctuate a lot today so i would keep an eye out for them ea did make a mistake if you didn't see this uh chucky lozano card yesterday that's because EA messed up and they did not put this guy in packs like they were supposed to. They tweeted him out multiple times and they showed his card, um, but then he wasn't actually in packs. For the current state of the meta, this card looks unbelievable, right? This is giving me FIFA 18 Chucky Lozano vibes. 
uh, 97 pace in the current state of this game. I mean, I want to try this guy as a super sub if I'm being completely honest, but at 220,000 coins, he's going to be a little bit more rare uh, than what he should be because he wasn't in packs right away. But EA did tweet out yesterday later in the day saying that the incorrect version, the base version of Lozano and Buffal were in packs and that they're going to give back. If you packed a gold Buffal or a gold Lozano, I don't even know if Buffal is a gold or not, but if you packed Buffal's base card or if you packed Lozano's base card, you are going to get the um, Path to Glory item. Yeah, he is a gold base. You're going to get the PTG item back uh, later in the week. They're going to compensate. So we are actually getting compensation from this uh, yesterday. I wasn't sure if we were going to or not because they were on the loading screen, uh, but they were not being they were not showing up on the market. So that is some compensation that we are uh, expecting to see from yesterday's mistake from EA there. So that's kind of the situation that we have right there uh, with these cards. But like I said, again, watch the fluctuations today. They will be great to trade with. They're live and they're only in packs until Wednesday. That's a very interesting part of this whole thing is that they're only in packs till Wednesday. Uh, some of them should rise up maybe a little bit. A lot of times what I'm seeing is these cards get rare in the late night, Friday night, early morning hours. 7.05 for this Kyle Walker. Like I'm trying to get him out here and maybe 7.20 because I feel like he's rare enough right now in the late night hours to maybe just maybe get a sale at like 7.20. So I'm going to keep holding on to these for the next hour or two, but I'm definitely selling these before the morning. I'm probably going to go into today feeling pretty liquid um, with my coins and not trying to do too much with them. Yesterday was a decent coin making day. We had some tax losses. We had some W's. We had some first hour flips. I mean, the market yesterday, the market that did the best was the Path to Glory cards from Team 1 that were pretty rare. Guys like Zakaria, Kinmin J. Zakaria went from 240,000 coins, 250k, all the way up to like 270, 280, where he is right now. And some of those World Cup heroes like Alo Arian, I think Diego Forlan and Rudy Voller were some of the biggest risers on the market yesterday. Like Rudy went from 880 all the way up to a million coins. Yeah, this guy was a million coins just at one point. He's now back down into the low 900s, probably because of the, the pack code of the World Cup Hero SBC being released. Um, but there was a lot going on with those cards. There were plenty of opportunities to make profit yesterday. And one thing that I want to look at and talk about with you guys a little bit is anytime there is a promo Friday where the cards that are getting put into packs are not crazy hype, like yesterday was just an okay day of content, right? These cards are cool. But what you see is when the content's just okay and there's not that much excitement, the cards that are going out of packs, the most recent promo before this and those most recent cards usually end up rebounding pretty well. Frankie De Young was in the low 500s, like 530K. He's up a lot. Cool the Daddy, right, was like 350. He's now 383. Carvel Hall, who I bought a couple of and sold him, he's up like 20,000 coins. We already mentioned the Kim Min Jae. We already mentioned Araho is up. Zakaria is up. These are the types of cards that if you see a promo Friday in the future where, you know, the stuff that's coming out does not look as hype as the stuff that is leaving packs buy the stuff that is leaving packs or the most recent cards because that is the stuff that moves the most like forlan i think and rudy voller were the best cards to flip yesterday because forlan was like 780 we take a look at the graph forlan was 790 went all the way up to 850 i think he was even close to 900,000 coins at this peak time and now he is back down. So with all this fluctuation on these cards, seriously, watch these World Cup heroes today. Watch the new ones. Watch the old ones because they are going to be fantastic to trade with. And um, hopefully still semi-packable too from upgrade packs that they would release. Hopefully on Monday as well. And who knows? Maybe EA is going to surprise us with something today and drop us a massive hero upgrade SBC on a Saturday. I would not expect it. But hey, crazier things have happened. And of course, we are... Uh, in the week before Black Friday. So we'll just have to see how EA structured the content in the coming days. And uh, we did have a store pack yesterday. I think last week on Saturday, they dropped a store pack as well. So watch out for like that 30,000 coin store pack maybe. We had the 50K, we had the 125K. These, in my opinion, they're really not worth it. I'm not gonna spend my coins on them um, since they're all untradeable. But, uh, you know, if you do wanna go for the gamble, you could get somebody sick in there from an untradeable pack pull perspective. So that's kind of what's going on with the game today. Watch out on your Path to Glory cards. Watch out for your World Cup heroes. And keep a close eye on that fodder market because it is very invested in at the moment. 
And so I would just be very careful investing in those. But if you enjoyed today's video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.